What is going on guys? Welcome back to another call for a while video or fishing the Florida Gulf Coast. You guys already know it. Now in this video, I'm gonna be showing you all how to tie a pompano rig or a pompano leader or the infamous double drop rig. Uh, this is the rig that you currently or you're probably going to use whenever you go surf fishing on the Gulf Coast. Um, typically it's, it's referred to as a pompano rig. But uh, in this video, I'm gonna be using some thick rope uh, just to make it easier for all of you guys to see and uh, i really hope this video helps you out um, if it does help you out make sure to smash that like button drop a like on the video it's free and it'll help more people be able to find this video if they're uh, interested in learning how to tie a pompano rig and if you like surf fishing or beach fishing for pompano or whiting make sure to subscribe i have a ton of surf fishing and beach fishing videos if you guys want to check them out i'll leave a uh, playlist in the description I have a ton of surf fishing videos. Go check them out if that interests you. But enough jibber jabbering. Let's go ahead and get into this pompano rig tying video. Alrighty guys, we're gonna be tying a pompano rig. And uh, in this example, I'm gonna be using some rope just to make it a little bit easier for all of you to see. Um, after this tutorial right here, I'm actually gonna start using leader. So stay tuned to the very end of the video. But uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and tie a loop. So this is the double drop rig for a pompano. So what you're gonna do is you're going to create a loop. Now the bigger the loop you make, the bigger the loop is gonna come off your main line. So if you wanna shorten it up, just make a smaller loop. If you want it bigger, make a bigger loop. Pretty common sense. So we have a loop. Let me go ahead and make that again. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down a little bit from where our swivel is going to sit, we're going to make a loop. I want it to be a little bigger than that, so we're going to make it a little bigger. We got a lot of wind right now too. So there is your loop, it's your first loop, and then what you're going to do is you're going to pull this line through this about five, four or five times. So that's two, that's three. That's four. And that's five. And then now what you have is you have this loop with all this bunched up rope right here. And now this is the part whenever you're gonna make a loop. So you're gonna try to find the center of this bunched up rope all up here on the top. You're gonna find the center and you're gonna make a little hole like that. You're gonna pull the bottom of the loop through that like so and then what I normally do is I grab this part with my teeth and then pull both ends and it'll clench up so that is it right there guys that is one loop like I said I just put that part in my mouth and then pulled both sides and it clenches up very nicely and that right there is where one of your hooks will go so let's go ahead and do it again real fast. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and tie the other one. We're gonna do the same exact thing. We're gonna make a loop. We're gonna go one, two, three, and then four, like so. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the middle we're gonna pull it open like that. We're gonna put this loop through there, like so. Then we're gonna grab this part with our teeth, and then we're gonna pull both sides to clench those knots up together. And then there you go. There's the second one. Now obviously, if you want these loops to be a little bit bigger, all you would do is just make the uh, loop bigger, and it would make these a little bit longer. So I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. I hope it was pretty easy to follow. Uh, it's actually a really simple rig once you, uh, once you do it a couple times. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and go to the actual leader part. And uh, yeah, we'll be right back with that. All right, guys, so we're getting away from the rope tutorial that I just sent you. But uh, I basically did the same exact thing with this, with this uh, fluorocarbon, except I only tied one loop. Uh, you can do this with one loop. I'm just doing an example. So I am uh, only going to use one loop in this tutorial. 
but in the rope way that I showed you, you would have two loops. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. First things first is what we're going to do is we're going to tie a swivel on. A little swivel right here. Just going to use a basic clinch nut. A lot of people say this knot's bad, but I've uh, been doing it for years. Never has failed me. Well, it has failed me, but I still have trust in it. So we got that knot right there. We're going to cut that off. Leave a little bit of a tag, not much. So we got our swivel right here. Now we're going to move down to the loop. All right, so now we're headed on to the loop. Now you do not have to use a float. Um, if you wanted to, right now you can just go ahead and put on your hook. But uh, I actually have this float right here that I'm going to use. This is from my buddy Justin, also known as Salty's Pompano Rigs. You guys probably already know him. But we're going to go ahead and put this over through the, through the float. Try to get it on the hook. So we're going to put this float on. You just squeeze this uh, double line, push it through like so. And then if you want to put a little bead on there, you can put a little bead on there also. So you got it right there. I need to cut my fingernails. They're getting dirty from all this landscaping that I'm doing. Put your bead through like so. And then now you're gonna grab your hook now in this example, I'm using a little bit bigger hook. This is a two watt hook. Uh, typically for pompano, I would like to use a one watt or even a size four circle hook. So I like using smaller hooks when targeting pompano. I've always been a firm believer in the more stealthy, the more downsized a uh, particular uh, leader can be, the more bites you'll get. I've always stuck with that. So here is your lead, your, uh, here's your swivel, here is your first loop, and like I said, I'm only going to be using one, uh, one loop for this example. Obviously, if you wanted to tie another loop, you would just make your leader longer, add another loop, and do the same exact thing. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to put on the snap swivel. One of my buddies just tried to call me. Sorry about that, Ryan. <laughs> So same thing right here, we're just going to do a clinch knot, like so, cut off a little bit of the tagging. So here is your snap swivel, this is going to be the bottom of your leader, this is going to be the top of your leader, and then that right there is your, your loop. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put on the weight. Now depending on the wind. Uh, of the particular day that you're fishing that's going to be the deciding factor on what size pyramid weight you're going to use um, just for this example we have a four so what we're going to do is we're going to this is kind of a smaller snap swivel but this is a four ounce lead weight and it just clips on like that you just snap it right through there put it on and there you go size four so this is going to be the top of your leader, this is the swivel, this is the part that is going to tie to the uh, line on your reel, then it goes down, then you have your loop, your drop loop, which is where your bait goes, and then it goes all the way down, and then right here, this is your pyramid weight, that's what's going to keep your line on the bottom of the surf to prevent it from being thrown around from the big breakers and stuff like that, and uh, hopefully the pompano won't be scared of it either but yeah that is a simple pompano rig tying tutorial and like i said in this example i only used one drop loop but obviously it's not that hard to comprehend if you wanted to add another drop loop what you would do is you would just do the same exact thing except make your leader a lot longer add another drop loop down here and then your uh, pyramid weight would probably go right here so just if you want to add another loop uh, you can lengthen up your leader add another loop but it's obviously not a um you don't have to do it but sometimes i like to just use a single one just saves me bait and i feel like i have just as much bites on a single uh, drop loop rig
Hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, see you guys in the next video. If this helped you guys out in any way, make sure to smash that like button so more people that popping up fish can uh, find this video. And yeah, make sure to subscribe if you like popping up fishing. If you do like popping up fishing or surf fishing or beach fishing, make sure to go check out some of my videos. I've got a ton of videos here fishing on the Florida Gulf Coast. I'll put some up on the screen right now so y'all for y'all to check out. And uh, yeah, until next time, we will be back with another episode of Fishing the Florida Gulf Coast. You guys already know it.